and this week um, I'm filming from uh, development, I'm inside the shed. That's not something that I'll do very often because A, I usually come down here um, and I'm not alone, <laughs> um, and B, there's usually people around all over the place. So, um, this week I, I'm down on my own because uh, the rest of my family has gone to visit uh, relatives um, in Cumbria up north so they're not around and um, I have actually had to wait uh, and pick my time to do this um, because there have been people around and this is quite a quiet time so uh, <laughs> it's not going to be something that happens um, every week um, but there we are you know with the allotment things are going well we're on course um, I have to say that uh, you do have to remember that we're coming to the end of the summer season and um, obviously I come down here on a, a Wednesday and a Thursday um, evening and that will have to stop soon um, and that's not because there's not a lot to do because there's still stuff to do but the issue will be that um, it will get dark earlier as soon as it's dark, by about half six, there's no point in me coming down here because it takes me an hour to get here after work and, you know, what can I do in half an hour and then I'm walking home in the dark. Um, so I imagine it's probably going to happen before the uh, the equinox, which is, you know, about this time next month. So that's just something to be aware. I think I'm going to fill my time... Um, by expanding the, the, the job stuff that I'm doing. Um, you know, Springboard has, has, has gone into a its second phase. I've done a four week period. Well, I've done two weeks of that four weeks so far. Um, and at the end of the four weeks, I will be in a position where I'm ready to start, you know, applying uh, for stuff if anything comes up. So um, I imagine that that will overtake and, and go on to allotments time and what we will do is we'll spend longer at a weekend down here just doing stuff thankfully not long after that dormancy will hit and there won't be much to do um, so there we are along with that four week process sorry a huge crow has just flown by the entrance to the uh, shed here frightened the life out of me um, along with the, that four weeks that I was talking to you about the springboard, um, uh, there's, I've been using this, this four weeks, I'm two weeks into the four week period at the moment of, um, changing my lifestyle and changing my, um, eating habits and stuff like that, um, because that was included also in the, the five year plan. Do you know, I'm not one for diets. Firstly, I like my food. Secondly, um, you know, although I don't want to be quite so enormous, I wouldn't say it keeps me up at night, the fact that I am. Um, and thirdly, what is the point in doing something for six weeks to lose weight when you just then go and put it all back on? What I would like is a... Uh, an eating plan which helps me reduce weight slowly over time that I'm not going to put back on and which I can follow, you know, ad infinitum, really. Now, I've been trying different things over this last couple of weeks and, like I say, I'm, I'm only... I've got another two weeks to go on it um, before I decide what I'm going to do next. But, I have to say, um, burning clean um, feels better. <laughs> It's quite funny because you do get um, more hungry. You are more physically aware of chemical balances, which I'm not usually. I've got so much of everything that I rarely get hungry. Um, I rarely, uh, um, you know, experience the tiredness of not having eaten enough, or you know, that sort of thing. Um, I've done a bit of healthy eating, which I sort of like. Next two weeks are going to be more um, 
I wouldn't say clinical, but more uh, procedural in following, you know, health sort of plans really, and seeing what I what I like and what I don't. I have to say, I think once the once I go into the review stage, which will happen on the fifth week, so that's in in the end of the next two weeks. Um, I do think that I'm going to have a little bit of a, a a war on my hands, just because you know my mind and my body do have a habit of trying to sabotage things that I do like this, and they can make it rather unpleasant. I do also think that I haven't, you know, that the problem that I had with the neuralgia pills, which destabilised the sertraline, I'm only just. Um, I've only just sort of recovered from that, if that makes sense, um, you know, and of course I do have to recognise that, like I said, within about a month and a half things are going to go dark, and when that happens I will have the um, seasonal disorder thing, the seasonal affective, whatever it is, to contend with. However, um, if I don't do it now, <laughs> it's going to happen later, isn't it? I mean eventually you get to the stage where you will be forced to take action because your body will start to, um, you know, the, the last thing I want to do is end up in hospital and then have to uh, do horrible things to, you know, make sure that my health and my longevity are secure. So I'd rather take the initiative and say, well, I'm going to have to face these, these issues. Anyway, there'll, there will never be a perfect time to do this sort of um, thing. So, you know, there we are. Um, that's what I'm going to do. So, in about three weeks, that's when I shall decide exactly what I'm doing um, and and uh, make plans. The, at the moment, we're, I'm just looking at different options. So, But I thought I'd, I ought to make you aware of that now, because I've been doing it two weeks sort of quietly. Um, whilst we've been discussing other things in the weekly blog, so I thought, why not? Now, I've just about uh, finished here. Done the harvest of the white currants, nearly. Haven't quite finished that, but I will do next week. Laid down the new paths, ready to go. Although, the irony, after telling you all of those things about healthy eating is, um, as my family are away, alternate... Uh, Sunday lunches are off this week and so um, I'm going to walk back into town and go have a fry up at the Cambridge Cafe. <laughs> Old habits die hard.